Aries, and welcome to Spiritual Wellness Tarot. Whoop, we got one out already. Holy cow. All right, it's ready to go. The cards are jumping for you, Aries. Let's um, let's go ahead and get started. This is going to be for the new moon, which is going to be in, in the sign of Libra. And that's going to be October 6th. And it's going to be all about prompting new beginnings. Um, it's time to take charge of your relationships, giving your relationships attention. Also, you're going to be working on some negotiation um, skills, right? Um, some partnering skills. So let's see what we have, what our angels have for us here. Now, I don't read reversal, so we're going to go ahead. This overall emotions, the overall energy is going to be about creating your own world. You are ready for a higher level of awareness and transformation. Yes, Aries. Yes, right? Um, sometimes when you think, God, there's got to be more to this, right? There's got to be more to life than what, than what I'm doing. Maybe you're, you're stuck at the nine to five job and you get home, you have to cook dinner. Um, then you have to get the kids, you know, either bathe and ready for, ready for bed or maybe help them with their homework, right? There is more to that. There is more to that. And so we need to uh, we need to rise up. We need to take a hold, and um, and start start realizing that you can create your own world, right? And that's what actually the new moon is is to help us with. It's time to take charge for your relationships and your skills, right? Your negotiation skills. So we're going to start off with the three of cups. Three of cups. Look how cute these guys are. They're all about sharing, right? They're all about friendship. They're all about celebration. And that's what they're doing right here. They're celebrating. And when you're creating your world, wouldn't you like some celebration in it, right? Even if it's something as small as, um, oh gosh, you got the whole laundry. You got the laundry washed, dried, and put away, right? Holy crumb. Don't I know? Mama four here, right? That's a big deal to get all the laundry done, right? So celebrate the little things in life. Celebrate those. And it just makes you feel better, right? All right, then we have the King of Swords here, who he is all you know, very powerful. He's a great leader. He's a thinker, right? And with, when you're creating your world, you know, you do have to think about what else do I need to do to make this world higher, right? And with this new moon, Taking charge of your skills like that is really going to be, um, it's going to be very um, dynamic for you. It's going to go ahead and make you very, very inspiring to go ahead and, and do that. Let's see what else we can do to, to clarify some of these, um, the Three of Cups and the King of Swords. Angels and Spirit Guides, let's go ahead and clarify the Three of Cups here. Oh, well, that's like way too many. We're going to take the one that's face down. For that and clarify, we need one card for the King of Swords, please. One card for, oh, we got two. Okay. All right. So we'll go with that. Let's go with the holy crumb, you guys. Look, Aries, you've got the fool. So with this new moon comes new possibilities, which I believe I mentioned before, right? Um, it's going to be prompting new beginnings. And with this fool, it's just clarifying that, that it's time, Aries, to start a new beginning. And what is the overall energy that we have? I create my world, right? Oh, Aries, this just gives me, this is awesome for you. This is just awesome. All right, let's see what the king, what came up with the king of swords here. So we've got the, um, we've got the, the three of hearts, which a lot of people think that's, or three of hearts, three of swords. <laughs> I'm thinking relationships here. So, it could be that, um, you know, that that with this new moon, like I mentioned, they go ahead and start working on that relationship, right? Start working on that relationship. Is it something you want to create? Do you want to move forward with that relationship, right? Um, do you want to move it to a higher level? Now, if you do, that could start happening within three days, three weeks, or three months, right? So definitely, you know, with this King of Swords here, he's thinking, right? He's a powerful, powerful thinker. So, um, so, you know, think about that. Think what's going on. Then you've got, wow, the page of cups also went ahead and popped out here, 
with that. And he's all about, you know, new love, being, you know, pages. Pages are are all about, you know, ideas and along with the King of Swords here, right? Ideas. So maybe you're looking for some ideas on how to go ahead and and spark up a conversation or maybe even show um, your relationships, whether it be a love relationship or even a, um, a, you know, friendship relationship or even a business relationship. How can you go ahead and, and spark that, right? How can you go ahead and make that move forward? How can you go ahead and, um, and make it just so it's, so it's very, um, you know, it's very inspiring, right? How can, how can you go ahead and do that? Let's, um, this is great, right? So you're going to create your own world. You're going to go ahead and do that by starting up some new beginnings, right? Let's, um, let's see what we've got for our powerful thought here. Oh, I got to get this one card that is like, there we go. This is so, I love this, right? The three of cups with the fool, all this is coming together, right? It's telling you that with this new moon is time for a new beginning. And how are you going to do that, Aries? How are you going to do that? You know, maybe by, maybe, you know, think about small gestures, you know, if it's, if it's love related, think about the small gestures that you have. How can you go ahead and do that to help move it forward? All right. So we've got two um, thoughts here. All my relationships are harmonious. What are we talking about here, right? Relationships. When we create harmony in our minds and hearts, we will find it in our lives. The inner creates the outer always. All my relationships are harmonious. And they sure are. You're going to make them that way, Aries. You're going to be awesome. I balance my masculine and feminine sides. The masculine and feminine parts are me of, I'm sorry, the masculine and feminine parts of me are in perfect balance and harmony. I am at peace and all is well. Oh, funny how this came out with harmony. This is harmony. You know, um, the three of cups is all about, you know, having harmony. You've got new friends. You're going to go ahead and and um, do some partying because you got your laundry done, right? <laughs> Let's see what else we have. Let's see what else the angels have for us. Um let me pull an angel card here. Oops. All right, Aries. Okay, so while we're pulling that angel card, you know, know that, that small gestures do matter, right? Just, just something small, right? Um, if it's for love and relationships, maybe just going out and picking picking a daisy, right? Picking a flower. Or it might be, you know, if you're a man and looking looking at your, your spouse or, or, you know, or you're a woman looking at your spouse, it doesn't matter. Just maybe make a small little gesture. If you don't cook all the time, maybe try to cook. You know, if, um, if they've had a real bad day, maybe draw them a bath. But it's going to be small little gestures like that that's going to go ahead and move your relationship forward. All right, what do the angels have? Forgiveness. All right, so it might be with this new moon, while we are working on negotiating our partnering skills and stuff, it might be that we have to forgive for something that our partner has done. Um, it might be, uh, you know, and that's hard. I know that's hard sometimes, but maybe look within yourself, look within your third eye, right? Which is, which is right here and look at the whole picture. If there's something that's bothering you, is it really a big deal? Um, if so, get out the negotiating skills, right? Which is what this new moon is all about. Get that, get that all out and ready to go because it's going to go ahead and help your whole situation. It's going to help your relationship. I love how, I love how these, the angels just like get these cards all together, right? They're all working together with this, with this um, new moon that's coming. Let's see what our affirmation is. Believe in your own inner power. You have what it takes to achieve your goals. And look what, funny how we end the reading with this. And we start the reading, right? 
I create my world. I create my world. All right, be fearless out there, Aries. Go ahead and um, you know let me know if this if this resonates with you. Um, go ahead and please leave a comment below. I would really appreciate that. And you guys have a fabulous new moon on October sixth. Namaste.